Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about outline the button in Flutter. So let's start. I have created this project in which I have this uh, uh, man method and we have this my app class which extends the stateless widget and then we have this uh, my home page class which extends stateless widget, uh, widget and inside this uh, stateless widget class we have this a bar and in this a bar we have this title so it will create uh, an, an a bar with the outline button demo title and then we have this uh, uh, in this body of the app we have the center widget and inside the center widget we will create uh, 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 a child this child will take a container widget container and inside this container we will create a child as well and this will take a column and inside this column we have a property called children and inside this uh, list of widget we can create multiple widgets so first we will create a simple outline button so we'll create out line button and now we have some properties inside this in unpress we will uh, try to show something and uh, I'll put a closing curly press here and then I'll put an enter here and in child I will uh, put in a text and here I'll pass in the value of uh, out uh, line button one and then I will put a comma here enter and uh, now I'll write something here so that we can print it so I'll print uh, hello from um, outlined lined button and now I'll put a semicolon here and now if we, uh, I run this on my device so now my device is connected to the Android studio so if I run this now we have this application called Visio which, uh, which let you mirror the screen of your mobile phone on, the, on your system so we'll use this and we will connect to our device now we have connected our device so let's go to android studio again the project is running now the application is running on the device so if i go to device you can see an outline button here now if i click on this outline button you can see here in the console hello from outline button now we will create a another button now let's we will create a uh, icon outline button so for that we will use uh, a comma here comma and then I will use uh, outline button dot icon and now you can see that uh, you have uh, you have an uh, icon property here so first I will use this uh, on click unpressed and uh, then I will use this icon so for that uh, this icon this is outlined button dot icon so now it is correct because outline button is uh, duplicated so I will use here icon and uh, inside this icon I can uh, use icons dot and I'll use control space and uh, let me use this one mm, this icon and uh, now for label I'll use text widget so I'll uh, use text and here uh, I'll use this is an uh, icon button now let me run this again quickly 
now the app is running on the device so let's go to the device and now you can see this is uh, uh, an icon button with this icon now if I click on this now if I click on this it is showing nothing because we have written nothing here so I'll write here quickly print uh, hello uh, from icon button and I'll put semicolon here and now if I run it again quickly and uh, it will sync it again and if I go to device uh, now if I go to device and now if I click on this uh, icon button now you can see hello from icon button is printed now let me show this uh, this icon button uh, and these uh, outline button in the middle so for that I will go here and uh, I will use man uh, access alignment and I will use man uh, control space man access alignment dot center and now if I quickly run this again now you will see that these buttons will be in the center of the screen and now if I go to device now you can see that they are in the center of the screen now we will uh, change the style of this uh, these icon buttons I will create a new one and I will try change the style of that so I'll use uh, icon button not icon button out lined button and uh, now I can use here uh, fast on pressed and then I can use uh, curly braces and then I can use uh, label and for label I will use text and here I can um, not label I will use um, child and here for child I will use text and uh, uh, here I will pass in uh, custom out line button by the way if you have not uh, liked this video please like this video and um, here I will use uh, so to change the style so I'll use the style property style um, outline button dot style form and here we have different properties now if I press control and uh, click on this style form so you will uh, see here different properties so I can uh, use background color I can use shadow color elevation textile so we will uh, use this textile and this uh, background color for now so I'll go to mendot.dart file again and here I will use uh, first uh, the background color property and here I will use colors dot uh, red or uh, yellow amber and uh, now the next property I will use is um, uh, text style and I will use text style widget here style widget and now I'll use font uh, size and I will use 18 and now if I run this application now the application is running so if I go to device now you can see a uh, yellow button or an umber button with the yellow background now if I click on this uh, button nothing will happen because we have not printed anything here so I'll print here uh, print uh, custom button and I'll put semicolon here and now I'll uh, run it again so now the app is running so if I click on this button now you can see in the console that uh, we have this uh, custom button printed app if I click it again you can see it again so that's all for today
I hope you like the video if you uh, didn't so please like the video and uh, please uh, read the video from 1 to 5 so that I can uh, understand if you want to change uh, if you want me to change my method and uh, please make sure that you subscribe to to the channel so that uh, you can get the future videos thank you